Sir Fred Gollop was fondly remembered as a man who loved his family, both at home and at work. In a touching tribute at his funeral service held on Tuesday, his children, René Kaulasar, Robin Gollop Knight, and Risa Galt, remembered him as a devoted father who always made time for his children and grandchildren, ensuring that they did well in their lives. Although we grew up with the nation, we had no idea what dad was building. To us, he was daddy first and foremost. Some of our fondest memories were our annual family holidays. For three weeks every summer, he and mom would totally switch off as we traveled the world. It was a time of year when dad would do things like enter the elevator on the way down to breakfast, having totally shaved off his mustache and act like nothing had happened. That was his sense of humor. On our return home, we were each expected to write an essay about our trip. Perhaps dad was hoping that one of us might follow his footsteps in journalism. In his sermon, Reverend Guy Hewitt spoke about Sir Fred's dedication to the country. Then there was his love of his professions, both law as a member of the inner bar and journalism, which he would ultimately combine in founding and then leading the nation publishing company and thereafter one Caribbean media. And in doing this, he also demonstrated his considerable leadership and entrepreneurial competencies. And then there was his love for this fair land of ours, in which he would play a leading role, say a builder of Barbados, in maintaining democratic traditions through his work in the Barbados Labour Party, as a statesman through his unprecedented presidency in the Senate, which included many occasions acting as Governor General. As a testament to his influence, Governor General Dame Sandra Mason and Prime Minister Mia Motley were in attendance, as well as members of the Cabinet and Senate. <laughs>